Welcome to another edition of TechCast. Our guest today is Rahul Mishra, Senior Vice President and MD for IFS Middle East and Africa. Welcome, Rahul. Pleasure is mine, Anita. Thank you for having me here. It's an honor, Rahul. Um, now, we let's talk about AI and its challenges. Um, so, what challenges do you think um, regional enterprises face when it comes to implementing AI at scale? Well, AI is quite universal, right? So whether you look at it from a region perspective or you take a global perspective, right. uh, the fundamentals or the principles of that we, the nuances we are seeing is, right. one, the availability of good talent right. that really understands right. how to engage and indulge with right. this new concept. That's right. implied. The second is, in the data is quite spread, fragmented. Right. Now, AI lives off right data how you look right. at it looks at it the third piece that we're seeing is especially in in the region and in our engagement with customers and institutions is the governance of how right. you take your ai strategy right. across mm -hmm. so that it becomes scalable right. and and it's easy to adopt mm. within the organization and you're able to actually leverage right. the value that it creates for you right in your business environment mm -hmm. So that's the, those are the three nuances that we see that right. is currently impediments right. for a good strategy to become adoptable, to be scalable across the organization. Absolutely. Now, uh, how are enterprise software solutions helping organizations, let's say, integrate ESG metrics into their core operations and strategic yeah. planning? So what, what we've realized over time is it's ESG is not something new. Right. It's been around for a for a while, mm. it was a fad that has become a reality. Right. And that, as we see at IFS uh, and our engagement with our customers, that it's no longer, no longer a fad. Right. These are important elements for our day to do business. Right. How do we actually be able to create a sustainable environment around us? Right. How do we leverage technology that allows us, mm. engages with us? helps us right. to make sure that the carbon footprint, the emissions, and so on and so forth right. around those metrics are now becoming manageable, right. so as, right. so as mm -hmm. to say. So at IFS, what we've done is we've, we have worked closely with our customers right. to bring in those the technology mm. for our cust across the entire spectrum of our platform. Right. So whether you're looking at people, whether you're looking at vice, whether you're looking at electrical data coming to you or the maintenance related emissions coming to you we take all of that and we present it in a form to you that you're actually able to take a decision before you the event right what is, is a simple example route planning on a shipping right. logistics environment right which route to take that is economical mm. it delivers on time but right. also cuts the carbon footprint for you right, right. is is something that we are able to do so right that's one example mm. but there are many so that right. we're seeing around right us. and that's fascinating i mean yeah. like the way the so, so the ability it takes. yes yeah. yes and the same thing will come up you right, know with right. all logistic services correct whether correct. it's in roads logistics whether it's by land by sea right. or by air correct You're, the ability to do so is what we are working on so now um how do you see the shift from predictive AI to prescriptive and even autonomous decision making play out in industrial situations? Oh, this is this is a phenomenon which has become a reality. Right. So over the past years, there was a focus on becoming predictive about helping customers right. uh, to be able to predict an event before it happened. Hmm. Now, while that's still in motion, what with the advent of AI and agentic AI. What we're starting to notice is that we need to be prescriptive. Our right. ability to leverage technology, to leverage mm. the AI environment, right. to be able to say, hey, I, we can actually take decisions mm. on behalf mm. and make those decisions, execute those decisions. So you, so that the, the human in engagement, the human error goes down. It becomes right. minimal. Mm. So we... We are leveraging that piece also hmm. from an IFS perspective. Agentic AI, the digital twin or co-worker is now a reality. Right. They work with you to make sure that you're able to actually, you know, 
take informed decisions right. with the ability to look at data mm. and and harness that data in a manner mm. that you're prescriptive in a way right and that's right. in a way becomes autonomous because mm. you go away from your mundane tasks correct and focus on things that are far more strategic right. and important right and the the admis, administrative elements are now being taken care of by the co-worker or the digital twin right. that you might have in your environment and that's the role of the agentic ai absolutely that, that's in play i feel no different we've invested in it yeah. and we're bring, making sure that that's infused and available with our platform to our customers agentic ai is is massive i mean it's like the, the scope and the opportunity that it affords is absolutely 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 enormous. And, and in the region what i'm noticing is the fact that for the the three things that i called that earlier right. one of them is the shortage of good talent right right, right. so right. pace of transformation in this region is faster Right. then perhaps in other parts of the world right we don't carry the legacy of yesterday correct we are a younger region younger yeah. economies which are moving very fast in transformation right. Right. our adoption of technology right. is far more powerful. but with the demand mm. you need a supply of skilled experienced talent Absolutely. to take, to have that transformation on an ongoing basis Absolutely. and this is yeah. where yeah. agent ai mm -hmm. can play a big role mm, to agree. fill in the gaps right. that are at different levels of the organization mm -hmm. yeah we're not saying that it's going to re replace the thinking power right, right. of the human mm. but it's actually going to help right and support absolutely. in the engagements absolutely uh, now industrial ai is increasingly being tailored to meet specific needs of different verticals tell us a little about that yes look like anything else out there you can't have one shoe that fits all correct every industry has their own nuances their right. own challenges right. and opportunities right it's and therefore you need to understand the industry right. Right. you understand what makes it tick right what will help it move mm. forward right and that's why we specialize mm. so within the industry that we're focused on mm. whether it's manufacturing whether it's engineering and construction mm. aerospace defense right. oil and gas mm. utilities telcos right. right if you by virtue of just that segmentation you realize right. they're right. all different right. they serve the customer and businesses in different ways correct and therefore their needs are going to be different correct that's where we come in mm. so a manufacturing environment for right. a pharmaceutical mm. or a mining the processes are similar yet right. not the same right. Right. and therefore the requirements right. are going to be different so they, we have to custom build or tailor right and meet the needs of those industries Correct. that's Correct. where again we we blend our industry experience our learnings right, right. and and understanding the underlying data right. and bringing it together with solutions that are good use cases to support these industries right absolutely agentic ai is is everywhere uh, it's it's applications in industrial uh, applications industrial in the industrial context is absolutely massive um that was a very interesting conversation i just wish it could go on but due to shortage of time we're having to like but, wrap it up but that was really insightful thank you so much rahul for thank you anita it's thank always a pleasure thank you so much you thank take you. care bye, bye.